Where's the mic? The mic is here. The mic is powerful. The mic is here. The mic is powerful. We are live. Hello, Facebook viewer. We are set for Ultima 5 Warriors, Warriors of Destiny. Hello, Figs, Facebook viewers, two of you, with very fitting music. As you can hear, let me just make it a bit quieter. There we go. So, uh, you can type in the chat, I think. I will see you here. I will see you on this chat. Looking forward to playing this game. I had started playing two years ago. Actually, it's a 1986 game, but I restarted and I didn't finish. Um, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing it with you from the beginning. This is a new game, brand new character, brand new everything. And we're going to have some fun. Because that's a very unforgiving game. Not like those games today where they take you by the hand, they tell you what to do. You're thrown in the world, and that's it. That's all you're going to have. That's it. There's guides and stuff, but yeah, find some actually. Uh, if we go to my codex page, uh, let me refresh this yes so as you can see uh, I had done my my homework so th these are all the uh, the actions but I've done um, there's here's the spells so I know what to what to uh, cast I've got the, all the potions and the scrolls and the reagents try and see what uh, what happens with them we have the alphabet that's very important to read whatever is going on on the that is the game they're just telling me that i should probably do something with it um and i have a quest logbook yes i had i had gone pretty far but you know i want to start over because 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 i love you um so w w whatever we're going to do here uh we're just going to say open and close whenever it's open and closed and there's you know join people will join you there's mantras you can learn blah blah it's fun dungeons um, there's dungeons of course it's a dungeon crawler partly with words of power and virtues associated with it which is just great um, towns with each town is 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 um, corresponds to a virtue uh, has a mantra because each mantra is then uh, there's a shrine that you can get stuff from 
Um, location, of course, you need to know where it is. Three castles that embody the three principles. Truth, love, and courage. Which actually are useful. We are listening, as you can see, to my buddy Howard. How you doing, Howard? You might recognize the music. Yes, it's the Lord of the Rings. Very fitting music. Uh, what else? And then we have shops with comparing prices. Yes, I know, I'm crazy, but what can you say? Nothing, right? I'm crazy, I know that. Now, uh, one quick thing, there's a number of things that we know already, already, including who the best characters for the suggested party are. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and, and, and stick to the most important one. So the avatar is me. Hi, it's me. Um, and then dexterity is the most important stat on this one, uh, strength being the, being the second best. So what we're going to do is we're going to... YOLO starts with us fairly early. We'll stick with uh, YOLO and we'll need a magic user very, very quickly. Um, the best is um, one very strong head like hmm? and then three ranged characters uh, magic users for example um, now I had somewhere I had somewhere let me find where it is like the best party not here sorry here uh, the best party Ultima 5. Let me just see if I can see. Where is it? Okay, this is where you need to go. The last dungeon. Okay, the names, the flames, da -da -da, what they do, the passwords. Uh, shrine, potions actually, Moongate locations, ah, oh, I don't want no codes. Huh, I thought I had the party. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go with YOLO and we, we, we start with Shamino, but Shamino will probably keep because he's got top dexterity. And uh, YOLO will make it arranged uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll use... Um, uh, Maria, Shamino, Gweno, and the Avatar. And I'll be the flexible character. Uh, Shamino is going to be the, uh, the uh, front guy, and then the three of us in the back. So that's what we're going to do, my friends. <laughs> Covering the icon with treasure chests. No, I'm actually, I think that's Ultima 4, because I don't think there's treasure chests on this map. Hi, Enz. Um, I don't think there's treasure chests here, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I didn't manage to uh, to get any on the map. Um, all right, let's uh, let's start the game, shall we? I'm just gonna pause the music for a second uh, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing some. Uh, whoops! I need to go and uh, yeah, this is a but. This is a keyboard only, no mouse. But what name sh th shall thou be known? Well, my name is Vonzon, as everybody knows. Are you a male? I think I'm a male. Far from your mind while strolling through the nearby woods is the rumor of a mysterious gypsy wagon to some that some claim to have, to have seen. But then you see the colorful wagon sitting in the valley below. Strangely, you find yourself drawn to the wagon. Um... As you approach, a woman's voice from inside says, Enter, O Seeker. Now, just quick parentheses. Um, there's a book by Christopher Vogler, V-O-G-L-E-R, called uh, The Writer's Journey, that very precisely describes how most of our stories and movies are written with the different stages and the different types of characters. Um, that woman is a herald. That's her archetype name. And she just... Give me the call to adventure. Enter, O Seeker. I could just say, eh, you know, let's do Franco and just say, and not go in because whatever, she's got an accent or she smells or she doesn't want pepperoni or a pizza. So upon entering, you find an old gypsy sitting in a curtained room. In front of her is a table upon which sit two incense 
bowls. The ancient gypsy smiles as she says, we have been waiting such a long time, but at last. Actually, I should maybe switch at some point accents. At last you have come. Sit here and I shall read the path of your future. She throws some powder, of course, into the bowels, into, into the bowels, into the bowls that causes a thick blue smoke to boil upwards from them. Staring into the smoke, she says, let us begin the casting. Space bar. That are, so now what happens is I have to answer questions and that's going to determine the kind of bonuses that I'll have. And I have no idea what they're going to be, so I'm going to try and answer those truthfully. Thou art an elderly, wealthy eccentric. I'm neither elderly, well, I'm kind of, but not, 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 not wealthy, that's for sure. Thy end is near. Do you donate all your wealth to feed hundreds of starving children and receive public adulation, or humbly live out your life, willing thy fortune to thy, oh, my heirs, or my, or the starving children's? Well, um... I'm going to make an argument that the air solution is better because they can multiply the money. See? Since I have two of them and they're smart. So let's go B. You were sworn to protect your lord at any cost, yet you know he has committed a crime. Authorities ask of the affair, do you break your oath by honestly speaking or upload honor by suddenly keeping? So, honestly or honor... Ah, that's a good one. That's a hard one. That's a tough one. I mean, me in in this life, I would I would go with honesty. Honesty, just because it's a good, nice song by an asshole singer, by the way. Um, and if you want to know why, type it in the chat because I can tell you why. Um. So what do I do? Okay, chat. What do I do? There's one of you in there. So you tell me what to do. And by the way, I should probably put the game on. Because otherwise, you won't see shit. Um, so, what should I do here? Do you break your oath by honestly speaking or upload honor by slightly keeping? I'll do A. After 20 years, you have found the slayer of your best friends. Oh, that's not good for him. The villain proves to be a man who provides the sole support for a young girl. Well, too bad. Nah. Uh, okay, justice or compassion, huh? 20 years? Dude. Ah, dude. Compassion. A local bully pushes for a fight. Do you a valiantly trance the rogue, decline knowing in thy spirit that no lasting good will come of it. I could kick his ass. And trusted to deliver an uncounted purse of gold, you meet a poor beggar. Do you deliver the gold, knowing the trust in thee was well placed? Show compassion. Oh, ignore the beggar or give the beggar a coin. Compassion or trust? Huh. Um uh, deliver the gold. <sighs> I'll deliver the gold. Although a teacher of music, you are a skillful wrestler, really. Okay. Um do you accept the invitation and fight? No, there's no I don't know if I'm gonna win. You have been prohibited by the by your absent lord from joining your friends in a close pitch battle. You refrain. Oh, show valor. Better ask for forgiveness than for uh, for permission. So be it, says the gypsy, as it from a great distance. Your path is chosen. Thus began the quest as chronicled in Ultima Four. Previous game. With the defeat of the tribe of evil, which I've never played, marking the end of the Three Ages of Darkness, the lands of Britannia entered a new age of enlightenment. A champion was needed to show the peoples of Britannia the long neglected path to virtue. You were chosen to be this champion. Heroically, did you grow strong in the ways of the eight virtues that you can, of course, by heart, right? Honesty, compassion, valor, justice, sacrifice, honor, spirituality, and humility. By many great deeds did you gain understanding of the truth, love, and courage, thus become the first mortal to set eyes upon the codex of ultimate wisdom. 
Upon completing your quest, your request, having shown the landsman of Britannia and, and lands person, we would say today, um, uh, the wheel of avatar, you return to your world and avatar in your own right. Wait, what? Okay. Um, is it exit? Okay. <laughs> I need to go to my controls. Uh, how do you get out of the game? I think it's Z or something. Yeah, Z is the menu. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. No, that's Z stats. No, Z is not the menu. Um, pom, pom, pom. Q is quit and save. Because I have... Oh, yeah, okay, it's the beginning. But I want to play the beginning. Crap. Hmm. Weird. Um, shut up. Okay, I'm going to end the game here. I'm going to restart it. Okay, I'm just going to make sure you see this. Yes, you do. All right. Oh, here we go. Ultima 5 introduction. The summoning. From nowhere, smoky wisps of clouds begin to form in the clear moonlit sky. In a few short moments, the sky is filled with dark, ominous clouds that completely block the moon's pale light. Your bedroom is bathed in quiet darkness as you lie sleeping lightly. Something rouses you, and your eyes open sleepily to be met by a soft blue glow reflecting from the wall. So slowly, softly, slowly, we work it well. Slowly, you turn your head until you can see the source of the light. You take a quick breath as you see that the light is emanating from a shimmering circle suspending over your bed. As you look at the light, a darkening begins to appear in its center. The darkening gradually mater met bleh, materializes into a form you suddenly recognize as the symbol of the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom. Oh my lord! The last time you saw such you saw such as this was beyond the circle of stones in the nearby woods. That prior occasion marked the quest that forever changed the course of your life. You stare as the lights begin to diminish and finally wink out. Something falls softly onto the bed. Reaching out, you turn on the lights at your bedside. There, lying before you, is an amulet. You hesitantly reach for it. Gripping it tightly in your hand, your finger automatically traces all the familiar etchings on the surface. Finally, finally, a sign from Britannia. It has to be. It could be nothing else. Jumping from the bed, you hastily pull on some clothes. With a few long strides, cross the room to stand before a glass case sitting on the shelf. Visible beneath the glass, resting upon a velvet cloth, is the Ark, symbol of your avatar hood. Avatar hood. Reverently, you open the glass case and remove it. If what you think is happening is truly happening, then you may have need of this. You open the door of your bedroom and step out, hesitating, one hand on the door, the other on your gun. No, not yet. You look back, wondering if you will ever return. Shaking your head of these thoughts, you pull the door closed and leave the house. With the aid of an occasional moonbeam piercing the dark cloud cover, you head for the circle of stones near the willow tree in the nearby woods. Strange shadows cast by the moonlight filter down through the treetops as thoughts of the past race through past. Race through your mind. Your attention is returned to the present as you see just ahead the circle of stones. Often had you come here and sat for hours at a time, hoping to once again 
see the shimmering blue door that would allow you to return to Britannia, to those whose friendship had come to mean so much. But never had the blue door reappeared. Less frequently you came, until finally, sadly, you gave up altogether. With renewed hope, you stand before the circle of stones, the ank in one hand and the amulet in the other. Minutes slip by and nothing happens. What? Impatience turns to anxiety. The gate must open. The mystical arrival of the amulet could mean nothing else. Long do you stand there until your amulet slips from the grip and falls within the circle of stones. While you stare dejectedly at the amulet lying within the circle, you notice a bluish shimmering in the air above the amulet. Looking down at the ank in your hand, you see it also enveloped in a soft blue glow. Carefully, you place the glowing ank beside the amulet. <gasps> Instantly, a shivering blue door springs up. With heart beating rapidly, you step into it. This is for kids, by the way. So if you have kids, bring them over. The arrival. Ta-da! Your senses are jerked from their momentary dysentery disorientation by a blinding streak of lightning that strikes with a thunderous crash not more than a hundred feet from you. You're standing in a clearing, surrounded by a dark and forbidding forest. Overhead, roiling black clouds fill the sky while thunder and lightning continue to crash around you. Britannia! It must be Britannia! But something is wrong. Instead of the sense of elation expected upon returning here after all these years, you are overcome with a foreboding sense of wrongness. My friend! shouts someone from behind you. A familiar voice from the past causes you to whirl about. Racing toward you is Shimino, someone you thought you might never see again. Strong, strongly grasping your hand, he exclaims, We were afraid the summoning would fail. Uh, this is a typical dwarf Scottish accent. He's a warrior, so I figured. Tis not impossible to use any magic without invoking intervention from Blackthorn. Let us not tarry for the summoning has surely not gone unnoticed. Yeah, I know it's pretty bad, but... Uh-oh. Those guys on the left? Not good. Trusting your friend's judgment, you hold your many questions until a safer time. Hastily you retrieve the amulet and ankh that lie at your feet, but before you can move, the very darkness about you begins to swirl and change. Three shapes begin to materialize in the murky gloom. Shadow Lords! hisses Shimino through clenched teeth. Actually, Shadow Lords! Because he's got clenched teeth. Um, quickly, he draws his sword and moves between you and the barely discernible, discernible, discernible shapes. The foremost apparition traces a pattern in the air with a wispy forefinger. Forefinger, not middle finger, forefinger. An ebony black arrow solidifies before it and hangs suspended for a moment. Then, with a flick of his hand, the shadows cast a glowing bolt at Shimino. The arrow strikes him full in the chest. Dropping the sword, he sinks to the ground, lines of pain and something worse etched into his face. The dark form closes in around you. This is like uh, Lord of the Rings on top of Amon Sul, when the, uh, the the riders close in on uh, on Frodo and Sam. Maybe Peter Jackson they didn't invent everything in this movie. Anyway, at your feet, Shamino's body convulses in pain, but not a sound escapes his lips. Without warning, the amulet, tightly gripped in your hand, hand emits a bright blue glow. Upon seeing the amulet, the shallow worlds shrink back. The wispy shadows start to swirl and fade back into the inky darkness. <sighs> Sorry. Shamino lies upon the ground, body twisted in agony, the dark arrow protruding from his chest. A normal arrow could not cause such, cause such pain. Such pain. <laughs> it must be the evil enchantment with which it was created. Realizing it must be removed, you jerk the arrow from Shamino's body and hurl it with all your might. The air about the arrow crackles and it flies into the darkness. Shamino's body relaxes. Inspecting the bloody wound, you notice it is already beginning to fester with the foulness with which the bolt was conjured. We will find aid at Yolo's. Here is but a short walk from the east. Shamino mutters, actually. We will find aid at Yolo's. It is but a short walk from to the east. 
Shamino mutters. With a grim determination, you help Shamino to his feet and half carry him out of the clearing and eastward through the forest. The story. Within the short time, <laughs> within the short time, the soothing sounds of a lute being masterfully played can be heard through the forest ahead. Rounding a bend into the path, in the path you see a dim light emanating from a small hut nestled among the trees. Approaching the hut, you loosen an arm from around Shamino and knock on the heavy wooden door. The lute playing stops abruptly to replace by the muffled clinging of metal. Hey, we're playing here! Actually, no. Who goes there? demands a familiar voice from within. Leaning warily against you, Shamino mutters, mutters, Open the door, you th son of a goat, before I donate all my blood to decorate thy doorstep. The door jerks open to reveal a familiar form of Yellow standing framed within the doorway. Reaching out to help Shamino, Yellow turns to you with a grimace. Okay, what's the accent here? Um, hey, we'll make it French. My friend, the, there are the sights for sore eyes. I see that Shamino, as usual, has been unable to stay out of trouble. I make a good French accent. His casual remarks cannot mask his deep concern as he helps Shamino to a bed and carefully tend to his wound. After seeing to Shamino, Yellow fills two mugs with a roaming broth, actually probably Bordeaux, but, and beckons you to a coarse wooden table next to the warm hearth. Tis good to see thee after these so many long years, my friend. It seems uh, thy summoning didst uh, not go unnoticed. From the looks of Shamino's wound, I'd say do do not know uh, you do know now of the Shadow Lords. You recount to Yellow the events of your arrival. Your patience giving out a flood of questions erupts from you. Slowly, my friend, uh, Yellow smiles. Make thyself at ease, and I will tell you the of the bitter events that have brought us to these dark times. Not long after the departure, uh, Lord British and the most prominent wizards of Britannia gathered at this castle and called a meeting of the Great Council. Great Council, Peter Jackson, you son of a goat. Among the acts of the Council was the sealing of the dungeon that lie beneath Britannia in hopes of entombing the full denizens that dwell within. Some creatures still manage to escape, but their eyes are unaccustomed to light. They rarely roam the, 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 the countryside by, by day, but where he must be traveler by night. And by the way, that's true in the game. You will see. Another, uh, another act of the Great Council, and by far the most difficult, was to raise the Codex from the depths of the abyss. Raise it. The influx of the combined magical power of the Great Council disrupted the very powers of Britannia. Where once was the abyss, now stands an immense mountain, uh, montagne, created from the molten lava that spewed forth. Unbeknownst to the Council, our new and glorious mountain left an enormous void over which all of Britannia rests. Some speculate that the donjon may reach into the underground void at their deepest level. It is believed that uh, the underworld has become a vast breeding ground for creatures, 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 sorry, who have grown into horrors far worse than their original forms. A band of adventurers chanced upon a tunnel beneath the river that flows through Spiritwood. Remember Spiritwood where with the little ladies? Hmm? Yeah, exactly there. Where one of these caverns collapsed, opening a passage to the underworld. Uh, he's, uh, he's Yellow Peppy the Pew, actually, same character. They returned, weary and bewildered, with tales of creatures that moan the dark air and others that shake the ground. I don't know what it is. Uh, Lord British uh, was intrigued by these tales and gathered an entourage of stalwart fighters to accompany him into the underworld. But his party was overwhelmed by a tremendous number of and power of these creatures. Through they, they fought valiantly, of course, because it's a game and people always fight valiantly. Panic erupted throughout Britannia when the sole survivor of the expedition returned with a small parchment upon which was recorded what? The detail of the journey. Someone took the time to write as they were fighting. See, very... Uh, Yolo, uh, yo, so, so, sorry, Yolo pauses momentarily as he reflects upon these dark thoughts. Blackthorn, a trusted but ambitious subject, of course. Uh, this is like Mel um, Melkor, by the way, in uh, Lord of the Rings. 
he was a trusted and ambitious subject. He was a, actually he was a semi-god. Took over the ruling of Britannia to calm the ensuing chaos because it was, there was a lot of chaos, like in France, which is very normal for us. Uh, this we accepted until the Shadow Lords appeared. They corrupted Blackthorn in some manner unbeknownst to us, and Blackthorn's reign is now one of oppression and tyranny. What can we do? Through him, the meaning of the virtues have been corrupted to serve the self righteous. So Shamino, myself, and others, others known, have been declared outlaws by Blackthorn, of course, regime, and must skulk uh, as common criminals. Which for my, me, is, is impossible. We keep distance between ourselves so that we can be rounded up in one fell swoop, but this cannot go on forever because uh, I'm, I'm French and I need to open my mouth all the time. So uh, Blackthorn and those uh, hellish saddle lords are bleeding Britannia. This cannot, uh, this, this will not do. Rule must be restored to Lord British, if he still lives. The gravity of the matter compelled, to us, compelled us to risk a meeting. We arrived at the only positive answer. Attempt to summon you, my friend, to aid us, to aid us in your quest to discover the fate of Lord British. The risk was great, for no use of strong magical power goes unnoticed by my good friend uh, the Shadow Lords, but uh, we felt there was no other choice. Shaking off the gloom of his tail, a jovial glint returns to Yolo's eye. He nods in Shamino's direction and says, I have been since you are here, my friend, and had nothing else to do, I'm sure. What, what say we nurse made this poor excuse for an adventurer back there, uh, back to some semblance of health, uh, then embark upon our quest? If life still breathes within Lord British, we shall restore him as the rightful ruler of Britannia. And now, actually, we need to create a new character, because I think... No, there we go. So it's, it took the previous one. All right, so that's the beginning of the story. And, um, and, uh, and we shall start playing. And we shall start playing. So, since we are playing, we're going to give it a little bit of music. Ah. All right, so. You need to open doors before you want to go through them. This is a real game. What? Can I not, like, um, set an active player? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Aha. Uh, maybe this. Yes. Sect af active player. So I don't need to always. Uh... Alright, no food here. I don't want to go out. Where the hell is yellow? Okay. Uh, how about sleep? Can I sleep? Hole up and camp nine hours. Okay. I don't remember if there's a... like a secret door, but I don't think there is. Oh yeah, I can... Uh, oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna borrow torches. It's night. Oh, it's get for the food. Yeah. Sorry. Stealing all your food. But it's useful. 
Um, I'm not going out at night. What time is it? Um, there's a command to have time. What is it? No, okay. Uh, I don't know, another four, maybe? Still. I'm not going out by night, I mean... Something would be there, but I was wrong. Okay, anything here? Nope. Nope. Okay, it's early in the morning. We should uh, we should get moving. Okay, Yellow's hut is somewhere. Uh, do I have a map? Uh, I, I don't think I put a map somewhere. Uh, I need a map. I absolutely need a map. War use of... I'm just, uh, destiny. Map. There we go. Oh, it's the original too. I thought I had a map. Um, I thought I had like drawn on a map or something. Let me just quickly look into my document and see if I can find that. I'll be a moment. If you don't mind. And if you do, I'm sorry. Because the map is very useful. Uh, here, 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 here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Actually, July 2018. Here we go. Nice. I actually have a map. Okay, very cool. Uh, I'm, I'm going to set up a um, well here. Well, you can you can kind of see it, but uh, I'll just create a quick map. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll duplicate this one. I'm just creating a scene for you to see the map. Yep. Let me just add here. Uh, to, 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 to image map by the way nice music all right uh where is it oh lord all right So that would be set for next time. We're uh, looking for a map so that uh, you guys will see where I'm going. And I will just be a minute. Listen to this. One of the best pieces of music ever written. Here's the map. 
problem is it's slightly too big here and we'll just make the rest of us larger okay how's this works right if I remember correctly now you're not gonna see where I'm pointing but that's okay uh, if you look at the top left by you I think that's where um, the hut is so we're just gonna go and uh, and try to get to that so I'm just because I want to find the hut back okay Okay, so from this range of mountains, it's east. So I'm going to take a screenshot. Uh, let me just quickly do that. Right. Okay, I've gone. I need. Oh, you. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's the. That's Empath Abbey. Yes. And the shadow loads are not there, which is good. All right, hi Jester. Hard luck. Now our good friend Hard luck um, does a number of things for us. Du, 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 du. Hard luck. Where is he? Empath Abbey. Hard luck. What does he want? We don't know what he wants. Uh, song is the last kind of word. Uh, job. I'm the jester. I juggle f and sing fine songs. very nice song oh, okay fate could be interesting yes you may have noticed that it points out that black himself is not responsible for the evil he imposes rather he is trapped as we are under the control of the truly evil, evil shallow is only more so a pity um, fuck what was the what was fate yeah, fate mm-hmm okay so principles maybe shadow lords um, now I'm just going to ask you know uh, okay um, I don't know what he wants. All right, let's go and see what's uh, down here. Uh, who's got the highest de dexterity, by the way? 17 dexterity, it's horrible. Shamino, 22. Yellow, 21. So the active player should be Shamino. Uh, let's do the ground floor, the ground floors first. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'll be able to get... Uh, 
Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so we want to cure. Oh, no, nah, it's heal. Is it? Yeah, heal. What? <laughs> what? 65 freaking gold. Son of a gun. God, that was expensive. Get away from the door, you dumbass. Uh huh. All right. So at least we we have a full party. Let's save because uh, this game is not messing about. All right. Symmetrical. Let's see what's over there. Twenty food. Take that. Okay. Corey. Okay, what does Corey do? Uh, so let's see. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna put on my. I'm putting on my thing. Who have uh, already met? Oh wow. I had never met Corey. Wow, that's interesting. Really? Huh. Okay. New life for you. Okay, what, what do you do, Corey? Oh, she's the cook! Um, cook? I certainly do. My delicacy is passed from my kitchen to the place. <coughs> Hungry souls. Such mouth with fried shark and sauteed squid au poivre. Shark? Yes? Um Okay, and you said shark squid. Okay, so it's free food. Apparently. Um uh, so I'm going to uh it's not quest, it's not join. Um, ba, ba, ba. how should I call this? I don't know. I'll just put an A and say free food. So, Corey, you're done. Uh, yeah, you can't see what I'm doing, but... I'm doing it. Okay, hi Facebook. You can type stuff in the chat. I'm watching the chat, so if you have questions. 
Uh, my interest, I think my interest is to say goodbye for now. Who's this guy? Oh, Lord Michael. Hello, Michael. Where is more Lord Michael? I'm looking in on my spreadsheet. There he is. Okay, he gives me a grapple. Shadow Lord of Hatred. He talks about the uh, Shadow Lord of Hatred. Seek the demon east in the great eastern desert at some point. Uh, Lord. Job. Castle. Here in Empath Abbey, we protect the principle of love. Since the principle of British. This is when they discover in Moria the huge, huge column room, which is so sad because the dwarves were a very powerful nation. Wiped by the Balrog. Okay. Seek out the demon who lives in the great eastern desert. He knows much of the Lord of Hatred. Okay. Um, I have used the grapple. I, I have the grapple used to climb mountains. Though it allows passage through many mountains, there are some peaks which still cannot be crossed. Would like it? You do well and be careful. All right, good. Thank you. Um, what's this dude? A kindly tinker. Aha. Uh -huh. Who's the tinker? Oh, it's Julia. Yep. All right. So Julia is a joiner. Uh, I'll take her. I mean, you know, why not? I live from the refuge in Shadow Lodge. This is when they escape the music. Oh, I don't remember now. Blackthorn. He feared we would find a way to bring the back of which is which is usually what we did. Is it time we took up arms again? Yes! Shall I join with you now? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna kick some ass. Um, how do I reorder my troops? Actually, just now that I think of it. Let me quickly look. I think it's probably like. No, I thought O or R, but it isn't. New order of party members. It's N. Swap. Um, oh, Yo, actually, Yo's got the most his point, but Vonzon must lead. Uh, okay, so Shimino and Yolo. Okay, how about the stats? So Yolo twenty-one, Shimino twenty-two. All right. Oh, wait. Okay, what do I have here? Shimino, Julia. Oh, she's a bard. She's got some magic. Spear. Ooh, we got spells. Oh, here we go. Pocket watch. Huh, which means I can actually know what time it is. What is the scroll? IS. Alright. Uh, it is a spell, but I don't know which one. Let me just quickly look. It's 
So yellow is to heal. Okay, which is good. I could use that. The scrolls. Okay. Let me just quickly look. Oh well, all right, let, let's continue. All right. Um, have I gone everywhere? Yeah, nothing here. We've gone there. Oh, it's night. Should be okay. That's where they like climbed up the mountains, run. <laughs> Who are you? Jessup. Alright, Jessup is my friend. Where's Jessup? Oh, another one I haven't met? Good lord. Alright, Jessup. Uh, Sanctum. Do you need the help of the empath this very evening? Yes. Cure, heal, resurrect. Okay. Cure, heal, resurrect. Oh, I know why. I don't have him in quests because I have him in castles. Or whatever. Or shops, actually. He's probably in shops, isn't he? Uh, yep. Cure, heal, resurrect. Cory, food for free. Okay, I actually had them in a, on the different... That's when they just exited Moria. And uh, they realized Gandalf is, get, is dead. So they're like weeping, they're all sad. Yeah, sucks. So that's that. Um, okay, let me just uh, get rid of these uh, extra things that I've put here because... Uh, there we go. Okay, so you're done. Ah, okay. Uh, wait. Okay. The elves. Okay, I'm outside. see this note remember it well because it's not very dissonant but it is much more next time we hear the same tune uh, can I actually just no, I know I've been there but, um One on the bed. Eh, it's okay. Climb. Is it K? Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Those are like the uh, the trenches, trenches or whatever. That's why I have torches. Oh yeah. Okay. That's the uh, throne room or whatever. Uh huh. I need a key. I'm not very good with a key. Um, oh, actually, the active player should be three because he's got the highest dexterity. Oh, hello. Am I gonna burn myself? Nope.
Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Uh, oh, remember here? You see here on north? On top, there's a little thing. Oh, fuck. How many keys do I have? Two keys. Crap. We're on top of the castle. Here's the flame of... Uh, Flame of love. Beautiful. It's a beautiful. Alright, morning. Okay. Um. Trying to see if there's any... Uh, Okay. Uh, climb, climb down, but that's the other side of the same thing. Any door that you would see? By the way, this la last bit was uh, the elves singing for Mithrandale, which is the elven name for uh, Gandalf. Uh, yeah, let's go to the other here. Another, okay. Okay. Whoops. How about this one? Also. Oh, another one. Mm hmm. I'll need more keys. That's for damn sure. here. Ah. Oh, is that the kitchen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's where we've been. Okay, I think we're, uh, Okay, I need to get back to Empath Abbey, so let me just write this down somewhere. Uh, here. To do. Keys for Empath Abbey. All right. <sighs> so, yes. Now, if we follow this path, we. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Troll? Let's say we fight. Okay, Shamino, short sword, short sword, spear. <laughs> Attack! Bare hands, that's it? Uh, wh wh what does she know? Like magic missile or something? Alright, let's just see. Uh, she's probably level one. Uh, 
I used to know. Graf Boar. Yeah, Graf Boar is the magic missile. Hey, <laughs> grazed. Attack. Missed. Really? Good lord. The sound is not right, quite right. Um, I think the frequency is not the proper one. So I'll fix that for the next next week. Because I think if you follow this path, you get to you. That's where the door, the moon door, moon moon door comes in, and that's you. And now a shadow lord. Fuck you. Shadow is in town. Um, okay. Not good. Um, let me get to my map. Uh, <laughs> we are at you. We could actually climb the mountain and get to Britannia. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so, shut up. Um, yeah, I don't want to translate that. Okay, you you can climb, but you you don't have. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Do do do. Oh, good. Okay, that's East Brittany. At least I'm safe here. Just steal while they're while they're sleeping. <laughs> I think there's um there's in one of the villages the the thing the the um, what you call it they meet at midnight um, uh, let me quickly go and look is it East Brittany or West Brittany I think it's West Brittany. Uh, farmer, farmer, farmer. Nope. Is it North Brittany? Oh well. Let's pretend I don't know. Okay, because otherwise it would be uh, kind of cheating. Okay. Um, the thing is, in the middle of the night. Could I sleep somewhere? Maybe? Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. That's a counter.
Come on, man. Uh, probably five. All right. See, this dude's working. Okay, Milan is the healer. Um, where is he? Uh, healer, yeah. All right, come on, leave. Come on. Ooh. Hello. Who are you? Flint. All right. New character. Where's Flint? Where's Flint? Here's Flint. Okay, iron. What does he do? I work the forge. He's a forge man. Ah, fine ship parts. Okay. Okay, from the old days of sweat and iron. Sweat. Uh, it's gonna give me the same story. Craft. Nobody else. All right, Jimmy. Uh, okay, so here we've got this. Oh, here, low. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, you're the ship guy. What do you mean? Uh, Master Hawkins. Okay, Hawkins. I think I know. H. Hawkins or Master Hawkins. What? Oh yeah, he's probably in the uh, shops as well. Yep. Uh, he sells a... S okay, he sells a frigate and a ship. Light skiff. 190. Nope! Landlubber. Dude, I got 85 gold. Oh, here's a kid. And the second guy. Okay, they're studying. What news of the world has the? Uh oh. Alright, he's a wide-eyed young boy. East Brittany. Ah, uh, who is he? The squire, I guess. Um.
HMS Cape. Okay. Another great tune. Inventor, inventor. I found a mixture of sulfur ash, mandrake, and the powder they fire can with will achieve great power and burned. Okay. Ah. This guy we know, this guy we know. I, I, I need to do another to do. Um, keys for East Brittany. Okay, so we've done this. Anything here? Uh, nope, not yet. Okay, this is probably just his home. Oops, sorry. There's a well. Ooh, what's up here? Uh-huh. Hello. And who would you be? A man with zinc eyebrows and chart clothes. He's holding a blackened box. What's your name? Oh, that's Adam. And you're probably the boy. Another great song. Alright, I think uh, with... Uh, yes. Alright, let's enter North Brittany. Ah. Uh, food. Vigil, North Brittany. Um, okay. What is your job, Vigil? Farming. You used to be an adventurer. I do now, but I roam the land as a warrior. Do you believe me? Yep. You are perceptive. Warrior. This was before. Never mind. Okay. Um. Talk to them, friends. Tentis join Leoff. All right, bye. And you are Leoff. Whoops. Come on now. Whom do you resist? Uh, what's his face? Oh God. Blackthorn. Have you ever faced a Shadow Lord? Actually, I have.
Just where it is we have not learned, but you might learn more if you seek out Sh Sir Sean in the Lyceum of Dagger Isle. If you can't find him, ask of Stonegate. Um, I wanted to ask something else. Um, no. All right. I mean, that's what peasants do. Right? Okay. Ooh, two more guys. Hello. Merchant? A merchant here? Okay. Young boy. What's your name, boy? Kurt. Last name? Cobain. Not cocaine. Stable boy. Alright, what's your name? What's your job? Stable. I tend the horses. Yes, thank you. I know what a stable boy does. We have many breeds. Well, we have plow horses, the mountain breed, and those from the steppes. Unfortunately, we don't have any Volurian pure breeds, but they do over in the castle. Have you ever seen one? No. My friend Triana. Triana works in the castle and gets to see them every day. So we got to talk about horses to Triana. Valorian. Okay. So there's a shop somewhere in here. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Ooh, look at look at this. <laughs> now that is a stroke of luck. Is it? All right. Uh, anybody? Nope. Okay, let's go up. Aha. Uh -huh. Two different characters, probably. Fentus. I think he's one of the guys. Just by the well, Minai. Okay, that's where the well is. So, all right, we've got Fentis, and now this guy, Joshua. Oh, doesn't he meet us? <laughs> I'm a farmer, of course, says he. So it grows the best crops. Yes, well, thank you. Okay, what does this guy want, Joshua? Uh, ba -ba -ba adventure. Really? like food shopping. Boring. I know, but it's got to be done, right? Alright, so this guy... Ah, there's an inn. Alright, who are you? Oh, come on, really? 
How about you? <laughs> Who are you? Kurt. Bye. Is there one of those funny horses here? I think you enter a horse. <laughs> I think. No, you don't. Okay, I need to go. And, uh, because I need to be at midnight by the well. Now. No freaking idea. Okay, that's the well. Okay, I got a bit of time, so I can go. Uh, weird. Yeah, right. They're all sleeping, but they're gonna wake up pretty soon. Come on, crops, really? I can't believe this is actually closed. Like, who would do that? That's the first uh, appearance of the Rohirrim theme. The people of Rohan. Oh shit, I think it's almost midnight. Yep. Um. Uh, Lee off. What do you want? I don't know what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but I know all this stuff already. Okay, here's another one. Tantis. Good night. Okay. You cannot be killed by normal means. Sutek. 
Okay. What is this guy? Lee off? What does he want? All right. I read somewhere, I think, that you can find keys in trees in villages Actually, I could I could use some sleep. Uh, I don't think there's any f beds available, right? Nope. here and of course there's no room okay well it's day so here we go okay the inn is where you leave characters when you don't need them Pick up or leave or rest for the night. How much is our night? 18 gold? Nope. Mm -hmm. That's where the elves arrive in uh, Helm's Deep. And they're all, yay! All right, let's time to move out of this uh, little village and into this one. More crops, food chopping, yay! Whoops. Christopher. Alright, Christopher of West Brittany. What are you, Christopher of West Brittany? You're a farmer. And um, I don't know what he does. You fiddle. Job well done. What do you enjoy? Writing. We're going to. Times of lore, epic. Published. <laughs> Will you buy it? Yep. Good. What is your name, Vincent Enchanted? I'm sure to have enlightened soul. Philip. Where's Philip? 
Philip is another farmer. Okay. You're not good in long. You can plant. Oh, you want to become an artist. Gonna be published as well. What is your name? Cheerio! Cheerio! Okay. So, nice fields. What else is there here? Oh. A useful lock. And who are you? Camille. And Camille. We don't know what they want. True and strong. I don't need to talk to. Cemetery, huh? Ho <laughs> ho Really? Now that's rich. Just digging out bodies. That's pretty cool. I, I it's the first time I, I've done it. I've played this game like three times, and it's the first time I'm, I'm like digging out corpses. Now the ring of regeneration is nice, but the rings vanish, so you need to be careful. All right. Um, should we go to Brittany or should we? Yeah, we should. All right. Ooh, okay. Yeah, but the thing is, I got no gold. And that's problematic. Okay. Yeah, I could have done with something better. A charming woman. Name. Oh, Gweno. You know what? I think she's in my... She's in my top list, isn't she? Is she? I think I, th I, think I do. Yep. She's the bar she's going to replace 
Uh, yellow, yellow, actually. Okay. So, now I'm gonna drop YOLO off, because it's not part of my, uh, of my, my party. Brittany. Actually, Brittany. Britain. Done. Talk to this guy. Grayson. What does he want? Oh, it gives me the compassion mantra. Who do you think is the rightful ruler of Britannia? Lord British. Which mantra do you seek? Compassion. Good. So there's an inn. Danya. Uh, leave a companion. Yellow will stay. Okay, we've met Dania, which is Russian for Daniel, in case you are. Uh to translate everything. Nice little study. Okay, why aren't my characters healing? Is it nine hours sleep? Which it is, actually. All right, same thing here. Brittany, to do. Keys for Britain. Talila. What does Talila want? What does Talila want? Here she is. She's the cleaner. Okay, uh, yeah, I need to go on the balcony to remember that. Why are you going to stay there? I guess he is. Okay.
Nice place he's got there. Look at this. Wow. Okay, who are you? Okay, Grayson. We're done with you. He's like like a cookbook or something. Tika. Hail rations. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, all right, interesting. Oh, hello. Terence. What does Terence want? He's a gardener. Okay. Do you know the resistance? Yes. Good. Uh. Chuckles, you know what? This is a good time to uh, quit and save. And let's see if I can get some uh, some fights. There's a bridge down here. There we go. Nope. All right, short sword sling. I think I can... Oh, crap. Oh, now she's got bare hands. Really? Um. Hey! Holy shit. Um, she probably can cast... A healing spell, which is uh, money. Good job. Long sword, short sword, sling, attack. Uh, bare hands. Uh, how, how do I equip? Actually, maybe I can equip something. Ready a piece of equipment. Oh, fuck. Ready uh, a dagger, a club. A club and a small shield. OK. 
Okay. Um, uh, how do I disarm a trap? How do I disarm a trap? Oh, Jimmy. I think it's Jimmy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Ooh, look at that. Keys. Gold armor weapon. Flaming oil. Eh. Leather armor. Gold, that's good. One key. Good lord. And one gem. time is it? 2 p.m. Uh. Oh, fuck me. All right. Looking good. <laughs> uh, I think I need the stupid... What? God. Good. 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 Um, I think I'll survive. Let's concentrate on one target. Fuck. Oof, Julia is hit. Uh, Gweno cast many on Julia. One! God. That was stupid. Good, little armor, gold, two gems, not bad, one torch, food, all right. You find a trap. Spear, bow, there are no arrows. Well, I need to, we need to get the hell out of there. This time we're not going through the damn bridge, are we? And we'll go to the inn. Rest for the night. Yes. Oof. Why is she... buy something from this guy uh, I'm gonna oh at first first uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna buy see what he's got dagger sling bow arrows a quiver full of fine arrows look at 15 yes 
arrows. Yes. Uh, crossbow would be nice, but it's probably expensive. <laughs> nope. Uh, slings actually are a good idea. But they don't do a lot of damage. Okay, so I have joint coif, I have a chain, and uh, a longsword. Okay. Shamino leather helm is going to take the coif. Small shield, ring mail, short sword, that's not great. Oof. Okay. Julia, so Julia is going to be on the back, leather helm, leather, uh, bu bu bow, right? Uh, now we're going to a new order. I'm gonna swap Julia with Gweno, and Gweno is going to take the. Oh yeah, okay. Ah, because she's got the sling. Uh, I think I'll need her with the shield. And what? Stupid club. Alright. Talk to this guy. Um, one cloth. One leather, one cloth. We'll keep the, uh, the sling. Hmm. Actually, yeah, you never know. Let's keep that. 175. All right, we've got some gold. We're doing good. All right, guys. Uh, that's going to be it. That is going to be it. Hi, Facebook. Yep. Great memories indeed. We'll be back next Sunday with the, uh, the rest of the adventure. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me go here. And... Uh, yeah, time for me to go to bed. I have a long week next week. So, looking forward to next Sunday so we can play. Alright, if you have uh, questions, things you want me to do, let me know. Bye, guys.